Hello and welcome to Baron's Den. Big news today, Blood Bowl 3, as we expected, Season 4 kicked off today and we have our new team. And we have Wood Elves. Not a big surprise in the end. It is what most of us were kind of speculating we were going to get. But uh, nevertheless, it's really exciting to get another team on the uh, Blood Bowl 3 pitch. And uh, it would be great to um, explore a new meta. So, first of all, let's have a look at the team. So, if I just go into here and if we go at the go to the customization, you get a good look at the player models then. Um, so, in a Wood Elf team, you get your Lauren Forest Treeman, which looks very similar to the Treeman model from the Old World Alliance. You get a catcher. Very long-haired, braided, similar to one of the models uh, that you get with the um, tabletop set. The Wood Elf Lyman, yep, yeah, very much in keeping with the um, Wood Elf Lyman in the tabletop. Very similar colour scheme initially as well, default colour scheme as the one on the box art. The thrower, oh, the thrower is a bit different. So they've made the thrower male. Now in the um, in the in the tabletop, it's a female thrower. So it's a shame. They haven't kept in the some of the female players really. We don't understand why they've uh, had to change the gender on that. And then we have the war dancer, uh, who looks suitably crazy and up for a fight. And that's it. Back to the treatment. So that's what the players look like. Uh, let's have a look at the blood pass for people who are interested. Um, here we go. So. As you can see, if you buy the Blood Pass, you get the Wood Elf team. If you don't buy the Blood Pass, you can crunch your way through all these levels and eventually you will get to level 50, which contains uh, the Wood Elf team and Gloriel Summerbloom, who is the star, one of the star players you can get and is the coach as well for um, the Wood Elf team. Like the, def the default coach, really, that they always release once star player model to use as a coach for each team and they've gone with Gloria or Summerbloom. Uh, your typical features in the Blood Pass, some people won't be interested by this but I'm a bit of a Blood Bowl nut so I, I do love all these little touches but yeah basic upgrades for mainly Wood Elf but it'll also dabble in some other areas. Oh good more Chaos Renegade stuff, excellent. You get your parts for the stadium, various team bits for the Wood Elves and others some, oh they're nice looking dice. Uh, yeah, all the usual sort of upgrades. Blah, 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 blah. Um, there's the other parts to the pitch, to the dugouts and the stadiums. Uh, anything particularly interesting to point out? I did see a very good Skaven piece that I like the look of. Is that a troll? Yeah, Chaos Troll. Uh, we have the pitch. I like the look of the pitch. You get a good look at it in the trailer um, and it, it just looks lovely. Uh, oh, let's put us back to the beginning. So yeah, more dice there, some more standard looking dice. Not the fancy flashy dice we saw towards the end of the Blood Pass. And more dugout bits. Oh, this is the Skaven bit I liked. See, for a Skaven lineman, I think he looks pretty cool. So as a Skaven player myself, I shall look forward to uh, unlocking that one. But yes, yeah, so your typical things in the Blood Pass, nothing uh, to write home about. It's all just cosmetic bits and bobs. Um, but it does all add to the experience for some people. It's enjoyable for others. They'll just bypass that and that's absolutely fine You don't have to buy the blood pass. You can crunch through this and Presumably because I've not done it myself you get the free bits every time it says free uh, Oh another little uh, <laughs> Thing to touch on the cheerleaders for the wood elves are dryads, which works quite well, doesn't it? The pom-poms are leaves Very uh, very different. We like different So yeah, I will then start a wood elf playthrough uh, as i said i would if they were um, released i'll do look to do 10 at least 10 matches on the ladder be prepared for some carnage because i can see these players not lasting too long to have a quick look at the team well i'm going to too much detail as i've just got back from work but so oh no that's a custom team they have released custom teams so you can now um you know, create your own teams and add whatever skills on you want and buy as many players as you want. 
as a way of perhaps testing things out, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, my starting team for my playthrough consists of one War Dancer, one Tree Man, a load of linemen, and just two rerolls. I was looking to get three rerolls, but to have three rerolls, you literally have. I don't even think you can get one War Dancer, ten, player, ten Wood Elves, and two, three rerolls. Uh, or if you can, it's literally just that. The idea here is that the Wood Elf Tree Man is going to soak up some of the carnage that will be wrought on them in the first couple of games minimize hopefully casualties until i can get an apothecary and then obviously i can build the team from there i wouldn't do this if this was league or tournament it's only because it's the ladder and i just think give myself a head start on a few re-holes re-rolls <laughs> re-holes re-rolls and i we all know war dancers are the best players uh, for the wood elves a lot of people are going to go straight in with two, which is fine. And it's, it's certainly what you do in a tournament or a league, probably. But in a long game like a ladder, I can be happy to wait a couple of games until I can get my second ward answer. Um, the Wood Elf linemen are pretty good. When you look at their stats, movement 7, strength 3, edge 2+, plus, passing 4+, plus is very solid. It's only when you get to the armour that you, know, you, you struggle a bit. And that's going to be the problem they're going to have, Wood Elves, is they're going to lose the War of Attrition against... Probably all teams. Even Skaven have a bit more armour than Wood Elves. So you've got to master the art of not leaving your players engaged in combat. Uh, but just so we know what the other players are like, we've got Catchers, uh, who are only strength 2, which hurts them a bit. But they do come with movement 8. They've obviously got the edge 2+, plus and come with catch and dodge. So once they get blocked, they are very annoying. And you also get the Throwers, who are 95,000 got the standard lineman stats except for passing 2 plus and pass uh, all for the bargain 25,000 extra uh, I, I love wood elf throwers I think wood elf throwers are some of the better throwers in the game probably get um, undervalued sometimes because I think people just go for the ultimate rush game so they'll load up on catchers and lord answers but I'd always run at least one thrower just because it gives you another element to your game you get accurate on a wood elf thrower and you know you're laughing at six square passes then and uh, you can even give them cannoneer if they live long enough to get several skills and then they can you can start doing some really cheeky long bomb uh, touchdowns on a four plus or a three plus and then uh, you suddenly become a threat to the entire depth of the pitch and it means that defensive lines are going to have to really think twice about what your plan's going to be so yeah you can do some really cool things with Wood Elf throwers. So yeah, Wood Elf team is there. I expect you'll see an influx of Wood Elves initially, because I'll be playing them. Lots of other people want to get them on the um, the field. But then you'll also get the people that go, haha, lots of Wood Elves. I'm going to play the anti-Wood Elf teams, which would probably be Dwarves uh, because of the tackle to keep up with those War Dancers. But in reality, it's any Bash team. Any team that can, can cause damage is going to be difficult for a uh, wood elf team orcs i imagine would be difficult because not only have you got to f factor in the fact that they've got all that block um with the blitzers quite early on and the strength four of the black orcs but they've also got uh, quick access to tackle and they've got armor so the wood elves themselves aren't gonna are gonna find it hard to take down orcs so yeah i expect to still see loads of orc teams and dwarf teams and chaos teams and nurgle teams uh trying to cash in on the fact that there'll be more Wood Elf players uh, like me trying to give them a go. So um, we'll see what happens. Anyway, let me know what you think about the uh, the new reveal. I was hoping for goblins, but I did say in my speculation video that I thought it was more likely to be Wood Elves, and that's what we've ended up with. So hopefully goblins will be next. I think there's only Stunties and Necromantic uh, of the leaked teams to go. So let's see what we get next. But um, yeah, I shall see you when I start my... Uh, ladder playthrough with Wood Elves. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video. Thank you. Bye.